circle and whole circle. Just like we did in the case of the electric field, we take a wire and assume the wire has a current going like this. So imagine like there's a battery connected to it, right? A battery connected to it and the current is going and then now what kind of magnetic field does that wire create? So uh, just like in the case of electric field, we, one of the cases that was doable was a semicircle, right? So we want to find the magnetic field here in the center. It, it, it's probably going to be a tougher integral if we want to do off-center. But that will be an extra credit question, okay? So uh, again, we set up that integral. Um, it's going to be r hat, uh, no, dl crossed into r hat over r squared. So remember, r hat is a unit vector. So you take a little piece here. r hat is a unit vector. Let me draw it bigger here. <clears throat> it's a little piece, dl is the a vector like this going in the direction of i, and then r hat is a unit vector facing towards the point. So the cross product of that, the l crossed into r hat into the board. So it's going to give you a vector into the board as far as direction-wise. Okay. Then when you take the magnitude of that, it's going to be dl r hat sine of 90. So in this time, there's going to be no sine. It's just going to be 1. Whereas in the case of the line, uh, th there was a sine. So it's just going to be uh, mu 0 i over 4 pi times dl times the magnitude of r hat, which is 1, times sine of 90, which is 1. OK? Now, r squared, actually, r squared is the radius here, squared, which is actually constant. It doesn't matter which point I go to. If I go to this element, you have dl, you have r hat, and then r is the distance from this element to here. It's still constant, you see. So when I'm going to integrate this, The r squared comes out of the integral, and all I need to do is just integrate dl over the semicircle. So over the semicircle, so I'll do like that, like a semicircular arc. Okay? So the, this one ends up being, um, and I could put here capital R for the radius of the uh, circle. And then the uh, integral of dl over semicircle is the half the circumference of a circle, which is pi r. So you're left with the pi's cancel and one of the r's cancel, and you're left with mu 0 i over 4 r. OK? Okay, that's cool. Mu zero i over four r, um, and the radius is constant. So the integral ended up being a simple integral, not too complex in this case. Okay, how about if the coil, if the wire winds around the whole circle, like this? So you have a battery attached to it, and uh, the battery is attached in such a way as the coil goes around, loops around the whole complete, uh, a whole complete cycle before ending up to go something like this. So it goes like that, or one cycle, and then it goes back. Well, in this case, really all you're doing is adding one semicircle, another semicircle. Are they going to cancel each other, or are they going to add to each other? OK? So in other words, if I were to take another uh, semicircular arc like this, 
And now this time the current is going to be going downward, right? So if I take a DL, in our hat. All we have to determine now is if uh, DL crossed into our hat, is it going to be out of the board or into the board? If it's out of the board, it cancels the original hat semicircle and the magnetic field of a whole circle will be zero. If, it, if it's into the board, then it will just double it. So a DL cross into our hat into the board. Okay, DL cross into our hat into the board. So it doesn't matter if the DL is here. So DL cross into our hat into the board. So it doesn't really matter which portion of the semicircle I, I'm doing. So it's, uh, it's into the board, which means it adds to its original B field. So you just get double that. So magnetic field of a whole coil. Double that becomes. 2R, mu zero I over 2R, okay? And the next thing I can do is I can have a bunch of coils wrapped around, just going, going back and forth like that, N number of coils, okay? For N coils, well, they just all keep adding to each other if the current is going like that back. Uh, in the same direction, right? So it's going to be n mu zero i over two r. As a matter of fact, that's going to be uh, uh, tomorrow's lab. We're going to try to prove that formula. Okay, <laughs> so it fits right good with our lab schedule. So we're going to try to prove that equation. And just to get a little bit of sense of the magnitude of that, let's put in some numbers. Let's say the current is 1.2 amps. Let's say the, you have a coil whose radius is, uh, let's say, it's some roughly about this size. So the radius is, let's say, 20 centimeters. So something realistic. And let's say you have the number of turns, let's say, 100. What is the B field at the center of that coil going to be in terms of a number? So let's do that. OK, mu zero is the magnetic permeability of empty space, which is 4 pi times 10 to the minus 7. OK, so let me write that down here. The magnetic permeability of free empty uh, space with air. Now it's different if I put an iron rod in there. If I put an iron rod in the coil, so let's say you have a coil, and you put an iron rod, what is that going to do to the mu zero? Increase it or decrease it? Increase. It's going to increase it 100 fold, maybe 200 fold, maybe 1,000 fold. It's going to increase the mu zero. Therefore, by increasing the mu zero, what is going to happen to the B field of a coil with an iron rod in there? The B field is going to increase by 100 fold, 200 fold, or 1,000 fold. So that way, you create a very strong magnet. Okay, you, you've seen those things like in junkyard where the the pickup truck, the truck comes and picks up 10 cars, these flattened cars, 10 cars, and it can go like that, and, it can, and then it can take it and put it somewhere else. That's a strong magnet, isn't it? How do they make that magnet? That's how they make it. They have a coil with a lot of turns. They have an iron rod in it, not air. Okay? And that, they create a very strong ferromagnet. Okay? And phew, they could get anything and they can put it anywhere they want.